right, hope everyone is feeling good and feeling loved. And if not, know that I love you. Okay, if you're interested in a private reading, my information is in the description box. And this is going to be messages from your counterpart. Okay, and take it how it resonates. Oh. Um. Okay, so. Oh, Lord. All right, messages from the counterparts. I'm just going to put a bunch of messages out here. It's not going to be, I'm not dividing energies, so you're going to have to use your own intuition to determine what messages are for you and if there are messages for you. messages from your counterpart leaving you hurt me too I am different now I couldn't let you get close to me I wish I could take back my words well, let me be quiet thank you for leaving me <laughs> you can't come with me Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. I am not coming back because I am not available. Okay. I know you think I won't follow through, but I will. I'm going through a spiritual awakening. I feel frustrated and stressed out. This setback is temporary and will resolve. I'm clearing past life traumas. Keep in mind, like I was saying, these messages are not for everybody. So they're going to be from different people talking to different people. Okay. I feel the need to say not everything is about you. Oh, Lord. And now I'm channeling that song, You're So Vain. You probably think this song is about you, don't you? That's for somebody. That's a channeled song for somebody. Ask a fucking expert. Don't rely on your friends or the internet. Listen to a damn professional. Drop the fucking ego. Vulnerability is hot as fuck. Right. This is someone who's not being vulnerable. They don't like being vulnerable. Believe what you see. Face reality or live in fucking la-la land. Choose bravely. Ooh, somebody is living in delusion. Like I was saying before. Love. Get some, give some. It will cheer your ass up. That project, that person, that idea is waiting. Get after that shit. The world has your back. Stop fucking whining. No one wants to listen to that shit. Complaining makes you weak. You have the strength to change your world, so do it. You're going through some tough shit. Everyone has their turn. Welcome to yours. Gather your tired ass up and handle it. That's... That is a message from somebody's person. My son says that. <laughs> oh, hello. I wish I could take back the hurtful things I said. It was wrong to take out my frustration on you. I am working on myself so I can give you the love and relationship you deserve. You are my best friend and I cherished our friendship above all others. There's so much unspoken between us. I need to tell you how I really feel. I'm trying to move on, but thoughts of you still linger and I can't control them. And that is my chair making noise, okay? Don't judge me. Messages from your person.
messages from your person. I've been dreaming about you. In my dreams, we are so free and in love. I wish I could stay there forever. Emotional intimacy. I'm afraid to truly open up to you. Being raw and authentic with my emotions is something I'm still working on. Attention of others. I'm addicted to the attention of others. I love feeling wanted and needed. I don't feel whole without it. This isn't goodbye. I don't want to walk away. But it's, be it, but it's what's best for me and us right now. This isn't goodbye. We will be together again soon. I'm leaving. I'm ready to leave a situation or a mindset that has not served me and hindered my growth. And you feel like home. Um, anything that else they want to say? They want to say something else about this leaving stuff. What about this? You're so smart. Your intellect really turns me on. You're so smart and I really enjoy our conversation. So the person that they're with may not be that may not as be as smart as you have my kids i want to have a family with you i know you'd be an amazing parent and i dream of the day i can experience raising a family so they want to have a child or kids with you i'm very jealous i can bar barely stand it where this person jealous of nervous you make me nervous even just thinking about you i get nervous i'm not sure what to say or how to act around you you ghosted this person i'm sorry i disappeared i needed to get away and clear my head um find they had to find who they were i feel like this could be somebody who doesn't know who they are so i'm trying to see if i have any other messages <laughs> a snake around somebody because I wanted to do that what is that who's the snake who's the snake slithery snake this is someone who's wearing a mask who's trying to come with you but they can't or they have tried they may have contacted you in the fall in a text or a message Could be a fire sign this person is a snake yeah this person may have tried to act like they were going to help you with their gifts but they're a snake they were trying to create something for themselves because i feel like they had sabotaged something so what were they trying to create like how are they a snake they were trying to prevent you from going towards your freedom. So they're living in their shadow side. They are not free of their shadow and they didn't want you to be free of yours. Yeah, they're in their ego. They wanted you to stay tied to your ego. Um, what were they going to gain from this? This was fated to happen. What were they going to gain from this? I feel like it was money. Um, yep. They were going to gain money. They could have been getting paid from a Libra. Or they were trying to have something um, legal go their way. I don't know why that shit wanted to come out. Life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. When we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress. Go with the flow. You'll be surprised where it leads. So I feel like this person was trying to um, have you resist your own change. They were trying to have you go against the grain and keep you stuck in a cycle. Um, where were they? What were they trying to prevent uh, this person from going yeah, from taking care of yourself, from choosing yourself. They were trying to distract you. Yeah. Because they didn't want you to go into your abundance. Yeah. They knew. They could have been doing readings or getting messages about you, about where you're headed, about who you're going to be with. And they were trying to prevent this. Yeah. They could have prophetic dreams. Um, they knew that you were, because of you loving yourself, you're an earth sign. This was going to create stable stability in your life and you were going to leave them behind. Yeah, because they knew that they were your comfort zone. Um, I feel like, yeah, they knew that um, you were very guarded when they were with you. They kept you guarded. They kept you. This is somebody from your past life. 
okay? They wanted to prevent you from forgiving somebody because they knew that you would release them. This could have been your own fucking twin, to be honest. I'm telling you. Yeah. They wanted to prevent... They wanted to have you stick in a karmic cycle and have you in, a, in fear so that you didn't reach your fullest potential and have wish fulfillment. Clarify the twin flame. Clarify the twin flame. Yeah. <laughs> this was your own twin. This was a Libra. A Libra twin fucking flame. Wow. That's bullshit. Uh, they sacrificed you for money, so it is what it is. Did they sacrifice this person? Did this Libra sacrifice their own twin? Yep. They did this when they were imbalanced. They did it because they needed money. They sacrificed love for money. Seven of Swords. This person's a piece of shit. And I don't give a fuck what you think about me cussing or what you think about me saying that. Um, we're humans. This is a human experience. <laughs> anybody, <laughs> anybody who sacrificed somebody for money, okay? And you think I'm gonna, like, not be angry about that? Get out of here. Go sit down in the corner and mind your fucking business. Embrace. Through each other, you find the missing pieces. Acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times, we must accept things as they are. There is no point trying to change that which is beyond our, con our control. And this is why you have to accept where people are, where people meet you, right? Right? watch what people do not what they say okay that's a con artist that <laughs> that's politicking okay people will say one thing and do something completely different a message for you i'm thinking of you in this very moment your love fills me with light i love you who is that from someone you left out in the damn cold And for others of you, it is your wish fulfillment. This is a water sign. Who you're going to have a new beginning with. There's somebody still trying to hold on to you, though. This person is the devil. Who's the devil? This is like... Oh, Lord. They trying to hold on to the Divine Feminine. Who's the Divine Feminine? Or... <sighs> you walked away from this and followed your intuition. Who's the devil trying to hold on to Divine Feminine? This is someone that wanted you to be upset. They didn't want you to have money. How did they want the Divine Feminine to be? This could have also been a, a fallen Divine Feminine who was trying to fuck up another Divine Feminine. They wanted you to be stuck in your head and your ego. Oh my God, this is the same message. They wanted to have it. This is like really sad and gross and I hate this for whoever this is, but this is a, you see this? This is a married couple. <laughs> your own damn counterpart. That's an air sign coming in as the devil. King of Pentacles. They wanted to be the King of Pentacles. That's an air sign. I told you. This person could have been cloaking their energy. This is an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And it's a Libra. I guarantee it. This person is cloaking their energy. They come in as um, earth signs and cap energy. Capricorn. This person is a witch. Or a warlock. They're no longer, their energy is no longer allowed to be hidden, though. This is no longer allowed to be hidden. So, um, if this is you, I would just recommend you stop doing this because you're not allowed to be hidden anymore. 1444 on the timeline. Why is this person not being cloaked anymore?
Now, this is an air sign that was moving pretty quickly. <laughs> Somebody tried to sabotage a divine feminine. That's mother. Or this person um, is not being cloaked anymore because they tried to sabotage a divine feminine. Yeah. This person is wanted dead or alive. They're wanted alone. So they're being left alone. They're being... Um, they're being abandoned they could be being abandoned by their own ancestors a Pisces and a Libra is significant what is this Aries is coming after so who's the femme fatale there could have been a, a violent water sign that's an old soul as well that was also trying to sabotage this divine feminine aries is coming after both of you a pisces and a libra for clinging on to this divine feminine's energy yeah for clinging on to this virgo's energy i'm telling you you're no longer allowed to be hidden this person is a crone and this is why you tried to sabotage her why did they do this So, for sex, number one, and for two, you were trying to manifest off this person's energy. You are trying to manifest money. Yep, no longer. What What is going to happen to these people? I don't even... I feel like she's going to have to go back to work. They're also going to have to move. Yeah, there's conflict. So you're go they're going to be getting told this. There's going to be some kind of arguing and whatnot. Yeah, y'all fucked up. <laughs> y'all were trying to be a thief. Y'all were doing this in the spiritual realm. Y'all were trying to steal. The spirit is not playing today about these people. This is supposed to be messages. What is this supposed to even be? Messages from your counterpart. Oh. Well, somebody's counterpart is being snitched on in the spiritual realm. Who's telling? That makes that makes sense. I forgot what even this was about, but that was that makes sense. Like I said, that was a counterpart. Who who's snitching? Who's snitching? in the spiritual realm somebody's telling me the whole business the whole damn business this is i feel like this is the divine masculine told you this is this is this is um the one yep this is the divine masculine that's stuck in toxic ways stuck in the past oh my god why are they snitching because they don't want you to be with this other person. Three of Cups. So they're telling you everything. The sun. It's... What's the advice for this person? What What is the advice for this Divine Feminine? End it. Be nurturing and compassionate while speaking your truth, but you need to walk away. You need to end it. Yep, this person hasn't changed. So this person has basically become like a karmic twin, basically. So you know how I was picking up in other readings that this person is a karmic? I feel like it's a karmic twin or like a twin turned karmic because they refuse to do the work because we all have free will. Yeah. They don't even care. Like I said, it's an air sign that you need to be separated from because you have a family home and commitment. You're the divine feminine. You have a family home and commitment with a person that is 
in alignment with you. High level soulmate energy here. Chemistry, you have chemistry and passion with this person. Remember why you came here. It wasn't to be tied down to anybody. It wasn't to be anybody's slave. This person, what I'm channeling is that whoever your counterpart was knew about your connection, maybe even before you did, maybe even before they met you. And they wanted to use you, your connection to benefit off of. Right, they were gonna use your sexual energy that's your sacral chakra energy. Look, seven of swords for their own gain. And what were they siphoning off of this divine feminine? I feel like it was a lot of people that were sucking from this divine feminine's energy. This is, um, they wanted their own success. They wanted their wish fulfillment. In the spiritual, some of them could have health issues that they were trying to heal themselves with your energy. What else? 10, 10. They wanted um, your money and love it's like they wanted your your life like they wanted your life they wanted you like <laughs> that's crazy as hell it's like there was a couple that was trying to like it was your fucking divine masculine in a karmic that was stalking you, trying to like replicate your whole life. Yeah. This shit got cut off though. This is... Anything you want to say about this? <laughs> I'm wrapping it up. Wrap it up. It's getting wrapped up. <laughs> it's getting wrapped up in the spiritual realm. Um... And don't come for me in my email. I'm talking about I don't need to cuss and all this shit. If you don't want to hear me cussing, don't watch my videos. I'm not holding back anymore. Like I said, goodbye. I don't care about me cussing 2222 on the timer. I don't care about... I'm going to do what I want to do. I'm tired of people trying to tell me what to do. <laughs> Somebody else could be feeling this energy because I'm feeling this energy very heavily. Like... I feel like I'm getting tired of being told what to do. Innocence. Cheap. <laughs> you are encouraged to reconnect with your inner child in order to become more spontaneous. And that's also another message. Sheep, right? You heard a bunch of sheep. I'm not a sheep. Somebody was trying to act like you were a sheep. But you were actually the one that was awake. Right. So <laughs> you were mysterious to a lot of people and they, and then I feel like they did some research and found out like, oh, I could have an opportunity because this person is so innocent. They have a childlike innocence. The Bobcat teaches you that there is true power and strength and silence and patience in order to get what you want. You must be willing to plan, adapt, and above all, have the patience to see your dreams manifest. <sighs> right. Opportunities come out again. <laughs> forgive them for they know not what they do we ain't forgiving nobody around here no i'm just joking, <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> courage you are brave you are courageous and your angels are applauding you the present circumstances that called upon you to be true to yourself were opportunities for you to grow mm, journal about what you learned from a recent circumstance in which you had to be true to yourself right that was with you know someone trying to steer me off my path to do something that I did not feel like I was in alignment with and I wasn't right that was not my my intuition um definitely was not and I knew that and these people were angry about that okay that could resonate this could be happening this is not just happening to me this i feel like this is happening to other people as well um so just be mindful of that use discernment okay use discernment anything else you want to say about that spirit yeah 
So don't be resistant. Don't block anybody off. Just be open to receiving what comes in your life because it's an opportunity to learn something. It's an opportunity to know who's for you and who's not for you. Okay. You definitely need to separate yourself from an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, because this person puts a lot of fear and tries to limit you. Okay. Um, and if this person tries to intimidate you with violence or threats or stalking, file a restraining order. This person will never get out of their past. Listen to your intuition and remember what you came here to do. Okay. Um, a fire sign gave you clarity over something. Over what needed to change. They did this by deceiving you. Okay. They did this by deceiving you. And that's what happens when people are in their ego. They, they think they have the one up on you. I feel like people underestimate you, whoever you are. Why do they un underestimate you? I think you, I feel like you're very nice and kind and, uh, right? You may be very calm. Today my mind is open and I'm at peace with who I am. You feel very calm and peaceful, like I was saying, and kind, and they may take this as a weakness. Today is going to be the best day ever. You could have, yeah, I'm getting like you're very um, much a happy individual, um, no matter what you've gone through, and like you get excited and look forward to your future, and they don't understand why. <laughs> they think you're brave. Today I will step up to every challenge with courage. They're like, how can she be this brave? Today I am special. I will realize that I am a unique, one-of-a-kind person. Where did they think she was weak at? This is definitely a female, divine feminine. They didn't think that you were going to make a difference or that you could. Today I will stay focused, work hard, and do my very best at everything that I do. They didn't feel like you... They felt like they were going to be able to knock you off your game and steer you in a different direction. That was exactly what I said. They thought that they were going to be able to drain your energy and steer you in the way that they wanted to steer you in for their own gain. Sad, but it's not going to happen. 